tell me it's spring thaw season without telling me it's spring thaw season. I'll go first. Yeah. Clean truck is pretty much a losing battle this time of year. Long time no video, but uh, not much going on. It's been really cold. Great winds today. It's 40 degrees out. 21 mile an hour winds, so I'm trying to get dressed in here. Just my uh, just a basic harness with uh, fall arrest stuff. And I'll show you guys that here in a second when I uh, get it on. But you don't have to watch me struggle, so let's do the, the old millennial farmer trick. There, as we get in a rush, and uh, I know I've talked about this before, and that can uh, easily cost you your life or get really hurt. So we need to take the time to use the safety equipment, but really basic harness. And then I got my, uh, my down back there, my big hooks so that I can always be tied onto something and pass them off. Um, it's worth it, guys. Take the time. Uh, no matter what what you're doing, especially this time of year, we got snow melting and whatnot. It's just not worth falling. So. Um, there is no internal ladder. Where we got one. I think it's going to be about two rings down or so. I can't quite remember, but uh, I just want to have a ladder to climb back out so I don't have to pull myself out. Or in case I can't pull myself out. How's that for Boy Scott, Boy Scout uh, knots there? I'll just hook this to me until I climb up. And then uh, once we get to the top, I'll tie off with my harness. So that way if I slip and fall when I'm pulling on this thing, that uh, I don't actually uh, fall off the actual bin. Well, I fall off the actual bin, but the sudden stop won't uh, hurt me at the bottom. See, out of habit, I wanna just grab on. We'll hook to this one to start with. Everything looks good upon initial uh, looking in here. And uh, initials, initial whiff test, everything smells good. Usually, if you've ever smelled rotting grain, you can smell it pretty much right away. All right, I've never done this before. So now I want to figure out how I want to go about pulling this up. There we go. Definitely not the most graceful way to do this, but the ladder is necessary. There we go. Really can't do much jumping for parkour there. So, uh, you know, a good practice, you know, really would be to have like a good rope. And that's something that I'm still setting up. I need to set up, I should say. I've had this harness for a while, but I want a good system where I have a carabiner and like an actual rope that's made to like hook to a harness and whatnot and have a way to fasten it out there. Um, basically, if you were to get stuck in here, um, if you don't know, it's going to take a lot of force to pull someone out, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a decent way to like, you know, wherever the rope is, you are type of thing. So you have a better chance of surviving. Greenman's super dangerous. 
Um, I am not an expert, but this is just what I'm doing today. So um, I'm not very concerned about that. Um, I know this bin has not had corn drawn from it. So this is, after harvest, this is how it looked. Um, some of the bins we did pull the centers out and by that obviously it's the center of the bin. A lot of the, like the fine material in the corn and you really can't see much out here but you, you get like cracked kernels and it almost turns into a powder sometimes. Uh, just from going through augers, the combine, whatnot. That usually ends up in the center. And what can happen is it can plug your bin when you go to pull it out. So a lot of guys will pull the centers uh, or whatever you want to call it, coring the bin um, just to uh, get ahead of that. This bin did not have that done. So I am not worried, excuse me, that any grain was uh, pulled out and then there was a crust formed. You walk across it, you fall through. Uh, there's no auger running. I'm not, I would never, never go into a bin like this if the auger was running. And, uh, you know, other people should know that you're here. So, just walking around in here, I don't feel any crust or anything. Another thing that I do is I just take my hand, I stick it down in a couple different places, feel for heat, look at it. And everything's looking pretty good. Like I say, the center's where you're gonna have your issues. You know, this is some of that fine stuff that I was talking about. Whether that's just dust, uh, this wasn't the last bin, so that cap wasn't on right away. So dust comes down those those shoots and it just kind of sprinkled on top. That's not like all fines because you know we pull that away, you know, and we got nice corn right here. So this is where we usually find our hot spots. Our rotting corn is right in the middle. It feels nice and cold as it should. Um, negative. Just a couple weeks ago, I was working at night. I think I had negative 36 degrees Fahrenheit on my car. Today, uh, my truck said 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So almost an 80 degree swing. Um, so, I mean, I'm not worried about the corn so much. You know, it does freeze in the winter. Uh, this is, this corn is April delivery. You know, we get up here and this is kind of what I'm looking for here. So you can see how that's kind of like bridging or you know, staying together. You know, I don't think it's a big deal, but oh yeah, this here would be what, what I'm looking for. That's a sign that, you know, at some point during harvest, it was what I suspect. We got a rain, we got a heavy dew, something it ran, maybe even maybe the water ran down the chute. Uh, if we had water in our sump when we originally started up and that water, uh, you know, came in here. So you now you look for things like that, but I'm pulling around down there and I'll lightly toss that so it doesn't break up, but I'll throw that out. But no, all in all, happy with this bin. I uh, got a couple more that I'm just gonna check since I'm here. I was out running errands in town and whatnot, so I figured stop by, check the corn, get some fresh air, get out of the house, do some uh, do some farm stuff. You can see though, it doesn't take much as you're walking around, you go knee deep. So. Uh, watch Millennial Farmer's video on, he's got a really good demonstration from fire departments um, on uh, grain bin rescues. Cannot stress grain bin safety enough, you guys. Please be careful in these things. And uh, I really should have a, uh, a mask on as well for grain bin dust. I'm starting to kick up some dust, but I'm on my way out of here. So this one looks good. Uh, We'll go poke our head in one of the big 45,000 bushel ones and just see if we can smell anything. That one has had corn pulled from it. I will not be climbing into that one, but we can go look in it just to see if we smell anything at the door. So, As I transition out, I'm gonna just tie off. That's the biggest time I transition. I don't hook onto every ring as I climb. Every, rung, every ladder rung, whatever you want to call it. I don't do that, right or wrong. I am not a fall expert. So, some of you guys are probably watching me use this harness like you're a clown, but uh, you know, at least I got it on and then, uh, oh no, I pushed this thing down in the corn. 
least I got it with me and I'm wearing it to some extent at least. So I think this bin only you know, 7,000 bushel bin, 6,500 or something. And now it wants to lay all the way down. There it goes. We'll shut our lid to make sure no water or critters climb in there for a place to uh, stay. Spin around. Get my feet, I like to get situated on the vertical ladder. Once I'm fully situated, then I untie. And then I just maintain at least three points of contact or you can slide your hands down the outside of these really nice and uh, you know stay safe that way boom safely on the ground Consequence is still the same. You can still die from falling off that little bit. I don't smell anything. I don't know if the lighting's adjusting for you guys. Everything looks good. Um, I can't quite remember. It does look like we used both sun to climb down on that internal ladder inspect the grain but uh, with how cold it's been and everything else uh, not worried about it right now so we're gonna leave it be maybe uh, when we're doing some April delivery stuff you know we'll pull one load out of here just to kind of we kind of like just to keep the grain moving just a quick quick video let you guys know that I am still active on YouTube it's, I watch YouTube uh, most days instead of TV uh, I've just been busy with work busy with training and uh, looking forward to spring field work, let's just say that. I'm looking forward to do some farming related stuff. So uh, just appreciate everybody sticking in there, hanging in there. Um, appreciate you watching. And uh, uh oh, that was $5 corn. Um, appreciate you checking in. Uh, really appreciate all everybody following. I know I'm saying that a lot. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. But I really do I enjoy doing this. This was by no means a safety video. It's just. Uh, some of the added precautions that I take out here. So it's dangerous stuff. We gotta be safe. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and grill since it's 40 degrees and then it's a, it's a night off for me. So um, with that, you guys have a good one. Be safe as always. We'll check you later.